hi guys welcome back to the channel we're gonna be talking about uh, the structure of the examination you know the different papers so i'm sure some of us are not sure about an examination and how they structure the papers so we're gonna actually do that right now okay so in CSET biology you have three papers so you have paper one paper two and paper three now paper three let me speak a little bit on paper three before we get into the whole explanation paper three you have one of two meaning that you can have in school paper three which would be the practical sba school um, the labs that are conducted and you have paper three on the other end for private candidates who are not in school but they want to sit the examination so they demonstrate their knowledge of practical skills via uh, paper three which is a actual paper three that they sit in the exam room so we're going to talk about the timing of these papers so paper one is an is an hour and 15 minutes long and that is simply just multiple choice questions so you're going to be looking at 60 multiple choice questions in paper one so that's paper one strictly multiple choice questions right and it's one hour 15 minutes paper two guys this is two hours and 30 minutes long right sounds short or it sounds long maybe i don't know depending on how fast you work but the key is that this paper is divided into three sections with question one being the most heavily weighted question on the paper so question or the first question is usually a data analysis question or experimental based question that is usually worth 25 marks then you have structured questions two structured questions which would worth 15 marks each and then finally after the structured questions you have extended response questions right and in total for paper two the, the maximum score is 100 marks. Good. So that's the amount of marks that you get on paper two. All right. And for paper three, as mentioned earlier, it can be either in school SBA, so school based assessment, where you do labs, or it can be for private candidates where they sit a paper. Now, if, they're, if it's for school based assessment, which is termed SBA, what happened is that you have a minimum of 18 labs or practical activities that should be done and we will we will be talking about those in more details in another video all right so the students will conduct these labs with supervision and write those labs up in a lab book or a particular provided manual that they can complete the labs in but for the private candidate this paper would be two hours and ten minutes long good and in this paper they have to still demonstrate experimental or practical skills right so they are pretty much looking at lab based questions but they are not conducting these labs so that's the difference and this paper is only for private candidates which suggests that they are not in the public education system or in the high school system so that's simply what it uh, speaks to or if you register outside of your institution, then you may be able to still to do a paper three as a private candidate rather than the school-based assessment version of the paper three. And this is where we end the outline or structure of the exam. So it's paper one, multiple choice question, 60 multiple choice questions, yes. And paper two, three sections, data analysis, structured and extended response which is a maximum of 100 marks. And then paper three, which is the practical paper, whether it's gonna be done in school or privately. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.